In this video, I'm going to review the Newton Cryptocurrency Exchange and give you a quick tutorial on how you can sign up for it, fund your account, and quickly get started trading different cryptocurrencies because it's super simple. But before we get to the tutorial, let's talk about the actual pros and cons of this platform because while I do like it, it's not perfect. For starters, which cryptocurrencies can you actually trade on Newton? Well, there's a list of about 70 different cryptocurrencies and I'll scroll through it for you right here. Now, of course, you can trade all of the big ones, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, and there's a decent selection of other altcoins that you can find on here as well. Now, if we're comparing this selection of cryptocurrencies to the selection that you could find on other exchanges, especially ones that are hosted offshore, for example, Binance, well, this selection is a little bit lacking because there's a pretty limited number of different cryptocurrencies that you can buy and sell here on Newton. And of course, if you want to buy and sell some others that are maybe not listed on Canadian exchanges or that are just a little bit more obscure, you won't be able to do that on Newton. You'll have to buy something like Ethereum and then transfer it to a different exchange where then you can actually trade the cryptocurrencies that you're looking for. However, if you're just a buy and hold crypto trader that's only looking to invest in the cryptocurrencies that make up the top of the crypto market cap, then Newton definitely has you covered. Next up, let's talk about fees. Now, Newton claims to be the zero commission crypto exchange or brokerage, and they say that they have appallingly low fees. So let's see whether or not that's actually true. For starters, it's totally free to deposit or withdraw Canadian dollars to Newton or also cryptocurrency. And the easiest way to do that is simply by e-transfer. So if you hit on the add funds button, you'll be able to have the Newton platform send you a request for an e-transfer and you'll be able to get money into your Newton platform very quickly in a matter of minutes. Of course, you can also transfer funds from another crypto wallet. So if you had Bitcoin or Ethereum, you could send it to Newton and then use that to trade or you could do bank wire transfers, but that will be more expensive and will take more time. So honestly, I recommend just using either the, the crypto deposits or the e-transfer. Now I completed that e-transfer request. It might take a minute or two to go through. So while we're waiting for that, let's go back and look at the, the prices. So since there's no fees to deposit cash to the platform or withdraw cash, and also there's no fees to deposit or withdraw cryptocurrency, in fact, one of the great benefits or pros of Newton is that they will even cover gas fees up to $5 per transaction when you want to withdraw crypto from the platform. So every time you make a transaction on the Bitcoin network or the Ethereum network, you have to pay a small network fee or gas fee for that transaction. And sometimes those fees can add up. But Newton actually helps you out and they cover up to $5 for making transactions for withdrawing from the platform. And usually that $5 will be enough to cover the entire transaction fee to make withdrawals. So you won't have to pay anything to make withdrawals from the platform unless the network fees on Ethereum or Bitcoin or wherever you're trying to make those withdrawals are super, super high or expensive at the time when you go to make that transaction. And if that's the case and you don't want to pay those transaction fees, then you can just wait until the network fees go down until that $5 amount will cover them completely and then you can make your transaction. So yes, all of that is great. You can get money to and from the platform completely free of charge. So how does Newton make money? Well, they charge something called a bid ask spread. And so what that means is when you're trading any of the different cryptocurrencies that trade on Newton's platform, they're going to sell them to you for a little bit more than the actual market value or buy them from you for a little bit less than the market value. Now, when it comes to the actual bid ask spreads, when you go to the prices section of Newton's website and open up any cryptocurrency or coin that you find here, you can see something that says the buy price and the sell price. So that right there is the spread. And if you look, the current buy price of Bitcoin, if you were to purchase it on the platform, is just over 60,160 CAD. And if you were to sell a Bitcoin on the platform, you would get 58,790. And if you look at the actual current market price of Bitcoin, it's 59,400, which is right in the middle there. So that differential between 59,400 and the current buy price is the bid ask spread if you were to purchase it. And so that means that currently the bid ask spread on Bitcoin is basically about 
1% or 1.1%. And the spread for different crypto assets will be different. So for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum will have some lower bid ask spreads. But if you go down and look at some of these, I guess you would call them altcoins or maybe coins, the bid ask spreads on some of these more obscure cryptocurrencies will definitely be higher than 1%. Now, the annoying thing to me, and this is really one of the major cons of the Newton platform, is that nowhere does it show you clearly what is the actual bid as spread for each of these different cryptocurrencies. Even if you go onto the platform and you go to purchase Bitcoin, for example, it doesn't say, oh, you're paying a 1% fee or spread on that transaction. It does not tell you that anywhere. So you have to kind of do the math yourself by looking at the buy and sell prices and comparing it to the actual current market price. And even in the Q&A section where it says, what is the bid ask spread? It just says that there is one, but it does not tell you what it is and really what I think Newton should do. And this would be huge for transparency and also give investors and traders additional information that they need is I think Newton should have a complete chart with a list of different crypto pairs that you can trade on the platform showing exactly what percentage is the bid ask spread at any given time. And they should update it and keep it up to date. But anyways, a 1% or a 1.1% bid ask spread to buy Bitcoin in Canada is more or less industry standard. If you're using many of the other crypto exchanges in Canada, you will pay similar fees, although different platforms charge fees in different ways. However, you can definitely get better prices than that if you trade crypto on offshore exchanges. The issue with that is that sometimes Canadians cannot access those platforms. So for example, you can't really use Binance if you live in Canada unless you're out of the country or if you set up a VPN. Next, let's talk about security because aside from the crypto selection and the fees on the platform, I think security is one of the most important things. And the way that Newton tackles security is by keeping 80% of the assets in offline or cold storage. So that means even if the Newton platform wants to get hacked somehow and someone stole all of the assets that Newton is holding to facilitate the trades and transactions, only 20% of the assets are ever at risk at any given time. And for that 20% of assets that is potentially at risk, there is insurance. And so if anything was ever to actually happen, there would be coverage for that. And especially in Canada, there's a pretty strict regimen for crypto exchanges to follow. They have to really adhere to the law and there's pretty tight regulations. So they have to be verified and audited by the Canadian Securities and Exchange Regulators, which of course increases the security of the platform. Additionally, of course, Newton uses multiple multi-factor authentication. I have the Authy application set up for Newton. And so anytime I log in or verify a transaction, I have to input the additional code as well as my email address and password. And as far as I can tell, there has never been a security incident involving Newton, which obviously is something that we want to see. And considering all of this, when it comes to Newton, I honestly think that it's a pretty solid platform for Canadians to onboard into cryptocurrency, to buy it and then hold it, or to buy it and then transfer it to a different platform where you can trade for much lower fees. And so what I use Newton for is to either buy Bitcoin and then transfer it to my cold storage wallet, just buy and hold, or to buy something like Ethereum, transfer that to an ETH wallet, and then you can use that to trade on decentralized exchanges where the trading fees are significantly lower. But if you're a Canadian and you need to somehow get CAD converted into cryptocurrency, then this is a pretty decent platform to do it on. And when you compare Newton to some of the other platforms, for example, Wealthsimple or ShakePay, then the fees are significantly lower here. So now that we've reviewed some of the pros and cons of the platform, and I've showed you how to transfer assets on it, let's go through a quick tutorial, and I'll tell you some of the features of Newton that you can use to help you trade cryptocurrency in a more efficient way. So on the homepage, you can see your holdings. Currently, I have 100 Canadian dollars in the account. And if you buy different cryptocurrencies, they will show up here. So if I bought $100 worth of Bitcoin, that will show up on my homepage. Now there's a watch list feature where you can search for different cryptocurrencies. And if you're interested in keeping tabs on specific cryptocurrencies, well, you can do that by just hitting on the star button and then they will show up on your watch list. So we'll go back over here and you can see I've got all these cryptocurrencies on my watch list now. And then of course there is the market tab where you can simply track all of the different cryptocurrencies that are available for sale on Newton. Now I think Newton is currently undergoing some upgrades because usually they do have a graph or a chart here that shows 
your portfolio's balance over time, but currently that appears to not be working. Anyways, on the right hand side here, these are the buttons where you can add funds. So I already showed you how you can add cryptocurrency. You can withdraw funds by hitting on this button. And when it comes to withdrawing, you can link your bank account directly. You can send crypto to a wallet or you can just withdraw via an e-transfer, all of which are easy and will take only a couple of minutes max. And then when it comes to actually trading cryptocurrency on Newton, there's two ways you can do it. There's the beginner or basic trade by just hitting on this button here. You can select which cryptocurrency you want to trade by scrolling through the list or by searching for it here. And there's three different ordered types. You can do market, limit, or recurring. Market is where you just buy whatever cryptocurrency it is at the current market price, of course, minus the bid ask spread. The limit order is where you set a specific price here. So if I was hoping that the price of ETH would go down, I could set a price target and then enter a limit order and then if the price of that crypto asset ever actually hits my target price, the order will be executed. And then there is a recurring buy feature that works with market orders only. So if I toggle that, I can choose to continually buy cryptocurrency at a specific frequency. So it could be daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. And then as long as I have the funds in my account to support it, it will automatically purchase cryptocurrency at a specific time. And so this is a great feature if you're hoping to dollar cost average into a cryptocurrency position over time. So if I wanted to buy, let's say, $100 worth of Ethereum every month, I could set up a recurring buy order by doing that, hidden review trade, and then confirming it. So that is the basic trading feature. Now, another way that you can trade is by hitting on the market tab or by going to your watch list and then selecting a cryptocurrency. So let's say Arbitrum here. Now it's gonna pop up here showing you a chart. You can have a line chart or a candlestick chart and you can toggle the different time horizons that you want to look at with these charts. And so this is a little bit more of an advanced way to trade. You can monitor the asset and then choose when you want to buy or sell it. Now, currently something I should note is that you can only trade in pairs between cryptocurrency and CAD. So you can't, for example, swap directly between Bitcoin and ETH or between ETH and Solana. You have to go to CAD and then you can make another trade to a different cryptocurrency. Anyways, once you are ready to make a trade, you can hit make a trade here and you'll be able to make a purchase. So let's actually say that I'm gonna buy some ETH. I'm gonna buy 50% of my net assets or $50 of ETH. I will do this as a market order, hit review trade. It pops up down here asking me to confirm that I'm satisfied with this. If I wait for more than 10 seconds, the quote will expire and then I'll have to refresh it, get a new quote. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I will confirm the trade by just hitting that button there and it will go through automatically. Okay, so success. I purchased 0.016 ETH for about $50 CAD. And actually, if I wanted to see what the actual market price of this would be, it's closer to $49.37 instead of the $49.99 that I paid. So that tiny difference is the bid ask spread, the commission that Newton is taking for the trade. Now, if I had done a limit order, it would show up here in open orders and it would stay down here until the price target that I set gets hit. So going back to the dashboard now, you can see I have two assets in my portfolio. I have Canadian dollars and I have Ethereum. Now, if I wanted to sell ETH, I would do the same process. I would open it up, hit make a trade. And then if I toggle this button right here, it will swap to trade from ETH to CAD instead of vice versa. And I can choose how much I want to sell and then hit review trade and confirm the trade. However, I do not recommend actually using Newton, like I said, for frequent trading. I think this is better as an onboarding or an on-ramp platform. So buy cryptocurrency and then transfer it off platform either to a hardware wallet or to a decentralized exchange where you can use DeFi platforms to trade for much lower fees. So yes, hopefully you found this review and tutorial helpful. If you wanted to sign up for Newton, I will leave my link down below. And if you sign up with that link, you will get a $25 bonus once you fund your account and start trading. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.